Welcome everyone, before we get into it, subscribe, hit the bell to get all those notifications, check out our Discord, check out channel memberships and patrons. Also, don't forget to use my Star Citizen referral link, which is in the description, all the links are down there. It's going to help us get a javelin if we can get enough referrals, so share that with your friends, please, that would be great. Also, if you want to become a part of the ship package giveaway, don't forget to watch this video to the end and you will find out. But let's get into it, we are doing the RSI Orion today, yes. So as you may know, this ship has gone from 170 meters to 340 meters, yes. So it's gone and increased in size dramatically, like it's not a small ship, it's quite massive obviously. So when you need the, when you take the ship out, you're going to need a, quite a fleet of ships as well to protect it because obviously mining out in space, it's going to take quite a bit of time, it's going to make a lot of money, but it's also going to cost you a lot of money in escort um, and security and whatnot. Obviously, having the crucible there may help as well with repairs. So we've got a hull E here. I know it probably won't hold as much as a hull E, but you can use that then to push the refined materials off onto the hull E. Keep the hull E out there until you probably fill it up and then go and sell that ore and make a lot of money. Now, saying that, there's supposed to be a ship between the mole and the Orion. So we're going to see that because the Orion is specifically for space mining, obviously. So we'll go over the hard points, like the overview, technical overview. It's got a large radar, medium computer, two large capital power plants, four large coolers, three large shield generators, two large fuel intakes, uh, two large fuel tanks. It's got a large quantum drive, a large jump module, a capital fuel tank. You've got two retro thrusters, you've got four main thrusters, you've got 20 fixed maneuvering thrusters, you've obviously got a couple of turrets here that are size 5, so we'll show you those, you've got your tractor beam, you've got your mining laser as well, and there's a couple of those. So obviously one to seven people, you're probably going to need one more than one person obviously being in that ship, there's a referral code, use it. Um, but going over the actual ship, it, it's it's a good ship. I like the idea of it, but I don't like the fact that you're going to need to spend a lot of money actually protecting the ship while you are using it and mining out in space. So obviously we got the Hull E here being one of the largest holding ships in the game, having 98,000 SCU, being able to carry ridiculous amounts. The only thing is this isn't protected. You could take a merchant man out there with its two size 6 cannons and just demolish some people if they want to try uh, their luck. Um, Obviously, we've got the Polaris here, which is another a good ship. It's got a size 10 torps, and it's got its size threes. I think I think it's size threes. I can't remember, but it's got a lot. Um, in terms of firepower, you got your Nautilus mine layer, uh, an ordnance disarming ship. You got your Perseus, and you got your Crucible. So you got you're gonna have to have a lot of ships out there. You may not have these. You may have these come out there with you. It's all up to you. It's all depending on what you want to do. Obviously, you can own these ships and get people to hop in them and take them out with you. So I, myself, I don't know. I would love to buy this ship, but I just don't know if I can have the manpower to man it. Obviously, 26.5 million kilos, 384 cargo capacity, 340 meters long and whatnot. Now, like I said, it has changed in size. It is 575 US dollars. Um, it's 325, I guess that would have been when it was a little bit smaller. But giving the price of it, I would buy it. I would buy it just specifically because it's not as expensive as what you would think it would be. But if you were to get a game package as well, you can get them in a game package, which is a little bit costly in the Tycoon pack. But just think about it at the end of the day, do you want the Orion or not? So it's all dependent. If you got the money for it, go for it. I would buy this ship just for the pure fact that it's going to make ridiculous amounts of money. You can have a ship share program, so hopefully you can rent it out to others to use, which is going to be quite an interesting uh, thing. Um, but like I said, it's going to need a lot of protection. It's going to cost a lot of money to take this out, to have those people then protect you, give them like a little bit of a wage maybe. If they bring their own ship out, obviously then the fees will go up. If you pay an org with uh, for security, then it's again there's all these different rates and all these different ships that they're going to be able to use and whether or not you're going to actually afford it and just going off your daily income if it's going to really be worth doing all of it which you're going to probably have this in the sky all the time using it when you first start the game it's probably gonna you're probably not going to be able to use it because it's just going to cost so much to fuel it you probably have you'll have to have a star fairer as well 
obviously the staff are probably not being able to refuel the whole thing you're probably gonna have to have a bigger refueling ship if they ever bring one out which will be interesting to see later on down the track but if you have the money you have the manpower I wouldn't doubt like I wouldn't I would say get it I know a lot of orgs have like a few of these so they don't have any problems with manpower and ships and being able to run one of these uh, in terms of just being able to get it in the sky being able to fuel it up being able to protect it being able to get it to its destination but there's always someone out there bigger better maybe a little bit more dangerous um, but it all comes down to just what you have in capabilities but my end result and pretty much thoughts is if you have the money get it if you have the manpower do it because you may regret not getting it later on down the track if it does cost more if you want to be a part of our ship package giveaway all you have to do is comment on this video or any other videos that have started from the point of the giveaway is hashtag giveaway uh, it will go to the 20th of the next month so good luck uh, it's gonna be random good luck to you uh, I hope you win this has been Baron see you in the verse